speakers. Um, they are Eric Previn on items 1, 4, 6, 9, 12, 14, 19, 31, 32, 35, 38, 39, 40, and 49. Uh, Arnold Sachs, uh, item 1H, 1P, 9, 10, 22, 32, 35. In that order, please, if you'll proceed. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Supervisor Ridley Thomas. It is Eric Previn from uh, the third district uh, here in the mixed mash of many, many items. Of course, I can't speak on all of those items in this time allotted, but I will do my best. Uh, and in the future, it would be good if we could migrate away from the process of allocating time so that the supervisors would pick and choose. It just it sends a signal that you don't really want to hear from the public. You just want to hear from the individuals who had item, for example, I think it was seven today. We picked up. Um, no, it was not item seven, it was item number six. We picked up the cost of 300 vehicles to come down to the Han Hall of Administration to cheer on everybody. And of course it is an exciting time as the new supervisors are seated. Um, but when we involve politics in our government meetings, it feels weird for those of us, I am a Democrat of course, but I can just imagine how individuals who are to the right of this group feel uh, knowing that this is almost like a rally. It just feels a little bit awkward to me. Um, so getting on with the point at hand, um, Item number 35, uh, now that we have four women seated, hopefully there will be a motion made to cancel the idea of Mira Loma Detention Facility up in the 5th District, which is a facility intended to incarcerate women from Los Angeles. And my God, I can only tell you that we have learned so much about uh, recidivism and the inability for women to get the kinds of care from their families when they are incarcerated far away. To, so to build a facility in an area where there are vulnerabilities, where valley fever, uh, and this is not a joke at all, by the way, valley fever is a very serious condition. And when you get sick from it, and this body had a meeting on October 25th, we all had a lot to say. There were, there were almost 100 people who wanted to address that item. Today we're hiring Securitas to go up to that facility to, this is a group that is a private contractor for security. This is a group like at item number um, 20 where the job order contracts are being considered, privatization of many of these jobs that could be done uh, at item number, for example, 19, where housekeepers are being hired by Servicon, not at the rates where county employees should be taking care of county facilities, but at lower rates that make it harder for Angelinos right here in our county. So whereas this board is trying, this board needs to try even harder. And item number 38 today is a corrective action plan. If you don't believe that things go wrong in jail, two wrongful death items at item 38 and item 39, uh, one at uh, Men's Central and one at Twin Towers. Uh, I can't get it exactly right at this moment. But these are cases where people were not looked after properly. And Supervisor Kuehl has made a name for herself by saying, I'm not going to privatize prisons. That's not appropriate. It's not, it's not something that she feels uh, like doing. And yet, we've done that with Liberty Healthcare, a group that is intended to um, provide services at a private level, which again, they've been sued in San Bernardino County. And finally, item, I believe it's the, uh, there were two, 18 and 15, that deal with our county risk and liability. Where are the corrective action plans, Mary Wickham? I know you're brave, and I'm brave too. We're all brave, but we need to see what we're doing to improve these situations in the county of Los Angeles. And on a day of celebration, I want the board to understand that the public is here, that the public is not being comped. We are never comped, despite the Mark Ridley Thomas civic engagement parking subsidy that will be coming soon, but we are here for you. Thank you. Thank Your you. time has expired. Um, we've called on all those persons who wish to be heard.